Okay, Julie, for this one, we're going to be heading out to Heber, Utah. And of course, that's one of the beautiful areas of Utah, right? Oh, I've always loved Heber. It's yeah. just the, the mountain scenery all around you, everywhere you look, it's so wonderful. Yeah, and take a look. This is an estate property absolutely spectacular as you're going up to the house you're going to notice the house on the left on this beautiful driveway and if you go straight in that's going to be your pool house right there and it's connected it's kind of perfectly put together where your garage is right in the second in the center and so if, if you want to have your like a guest house over there with the pool it's all set up and ready to go which is awesome and it gives your guests some privacy too that's right and this this house spares no amenities it's got everything and so as you can see as we're flying over the over the neighborhood you would think as you see this baseball field off in the distance here you would think that's more or less maybe the park that's next to it maybe it's you know part of the community no that's part of this property your own private ball diamond that's right <laughs> and so you got your baseball uh, diamond right there and that and see the railroad tracks right there those are uh, not really active tracks those are just for like the heap of creeper and so during the winter, you get to see the heat from Creeper oh, nearby. Oh, that's, well, isn't that just charming too? That's right. And then up on the top right there, which you can barely see now, they've got their own little racetrack up there also. For dirt bikes. For dirt bikes, oh. which is perfect. That is great. Yeah. And so as you can see the exterior and the style and design they put in this house, just absolutely spectacular. And as we can go and take a look at the doors. I, I love those doors. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. And now as we go inside, as you can see, they, they didn't even spare any expenses as they, as they put all this together. They put all the finest uh, furnishings in here, all that wood. It's beautiful. It is beautiful wood, and I'm always um, sensitive about how bright and light a, an area feels. There's a lot of, of uh, natural light, and they've got a lot of the incandescent lights, too. So yeah. this is always going to be warm and cozy and welcoming. Now take a look at this kitchen. They really like laid this out perfectly. And that range over there, massive six burner, burner range. And then they got a place where you can, you know, cook it and do your You've got a professional range. kitchen here. Yeah, this you is sure do. very, very nice. And then as you, you can see all the beautiful cabinetry they put in here. here. Oh, yeah. That, and <laughs> isn't that really sweet to have a, a welcoming space to work there? That's That range is just a great place to be yeah so this would be kind of your dining area here right off to the side uh, and this is kind of going in this is the laundry room that goes in right into the garage right there oh great yeah very so nice. same level yeah it's all really nicely connected and of course you go down you gotta have your own basketball court right <laughs> you gotta have that oh yeah <laughs> so this is a full-size uh, basketball court and then on the main floor they also have the home theater. theater and so they set the house up interesting enough that all the kind of play areas are on the main floor oh, you got great. your pool house you got your your gym and then you go down to the basement and this is where generally all the living area is down here that it, this approach is so charming it just is magical isn't it going down those stairs yeah, and so normally you think of a house that is, you know, we think about, you know, Ramblers at basements. Or this one's almost set up more like a two-story okay. because the back of the house is is all open. And so it's really, you can't really, it's not a basement. It's actually the main floor. And so what you come through is you come through the top, you actually go up to the top. And so you go almost to the, so you enter the house through the second story where all the entertaining goes on. Right. And then the main floor, which is actually lower than that, it's a, it's, it's I mean, open. I mean, when you're going to spend this much money in a house, you pretty much build it anywhere you want to, right? Right. And so it's not, it's not really considered a basement because you still got perfectly light windows and everything. And the way it's just kind of tucked into the, you know, perfectly in the landscape, it's yeah. just uh, perfect. It's really, yeah. really nice. And as you can see, there's there's plenty of room. So we're gonna be talking about this house. We're gonna be seven bedrooms with six full and two half baths. It has seven uh, uh, seven bedrooms, like I said, six. So that's really like eight, it's like eight, eight bathrooms. Just what you gotta <laughs> have, right? And you can see this beautiful deck off the back that overlooks your, your beautiful uh, area. You're looking right up there to Panogas. What people wouldn't do to just be in such a place like that. Look how tranquil and yeah. inviting. And a beautiful landscaping all the way around. And there you can see how I'm talking about. So see how it's a, it, it's almost like a two-story and it's, you know, it's it's a kind of a cross between a two-story and, and a rambler. Yeah, the because best of, the way of both they, worlds. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Because that way you can have all your your entertaining down upstairs and you still have the light of everything in the, in the lower level. And here's your pool house, right? Oh, this is fabulous. <laughs>
And that's even better. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty, but you <laughs> well, can blow and those doors and there's open. Well, and safety issues too. For a mom, you, sometimes that safety issue, you can don't even have to be concerned. That's right, so you get your hot tub on the side there, and here's another kitchen, which is really nice to have, so you're having a little party or whatever. But you, nice thing with this, and this is actually going upstairs now, upstairs above this, they've got a little, uh, uh, a little living area right there for your guests. And so up there, you've got a couple bedrooms, you've got another kitchen up there. So this house really has three kitchens. Now right over here, this is where, right back in here, you can see the mounds in there. That's where your race course is right there. Oh, great. Right now it's just set up as kind of natural, uh, you know, kind of natural just, landscaping, which is great. My boys would love that. Yeah, and this is, this is truly a spectacular property. If you're looking for an estate and you want to be away from everything, um, but this, I mean, you can't, you can't replace this for this much money. Well, and Heber's still easy access, year-round access. It's just a beautiful place and a lovely place in the, in the area, too. Yeah, look at that. I love the little ballpark and sitting right on a cul-de-sac right in the heart of Heber. This is a spectacular little property. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Oh, 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 oh,